Hey guys, this is going to be the first video of many. Um, it's just going to show one element of my training that I do on a weekly basis. Uh, resistance training in the gym. We're down at Vault Gym in Bursco here. This is my core kind of training that I'll do weekly. Uh, compound lifts such as a bench press, squats, deadlifts. They're my main exercises that I focus on as my non-negotiables that I get done every week. Um, I do vary the rep ranges and the sets and the actual way to go heavier some days, some days I go lighter with more reps. Uh, there's different variations you can do, um, all sorts of different options. You've got the options of having barbells or you can use dumbbells or you can use different things like that. Um, you can progress to more advanced options that will end up transferring into other activities such as uh, powerlifting or anything like that. Um, you can really improve your posture and your balance, uh, these compound lifts. You know, shocking your central nervous system with heavier weights. You know, um, it really does help and my body composition and my metabolism have definitely improved uh, dramatically since I started doing these uh, a couple of years ago down at RM Fitness in Wigan um, with Ross Meadows and Sam Dinnick down there who are absolute legends. Um, I wouldn't be where I was today without their kind of um, help and pushing me into this kind of training uh, or putting this kind of training into my weekly schedule. Obviously I do all sorts of other different training and I'm going to do videos to cover all sorts of each different type of training I do. Um, again here with the deadlifts, a lot of people misconceive deadlifts as something that might hurt your back you know, but done safely and effectively, it's going to strengthen your back up and uh, probably help any kind of back issues and eliminate any back problems you might have. So they're really good to give a go, but just make sure you do them properly and safely. You know, watch some tutorials or get some help. Um, so we're just moving into the weight room here now. Um, it's quite a daunting place for a lot of people, especially where they don't know what they're doing or what the machines can do and maybe scared of of lifting weights but um, definitely worth giving it a go don't don't worry about how heavy the weight is just concentrate on good form and then when you get the basic strength there you can move to more advanced exercises that will challenge you um, not just the one muscle group you're working such as your chest here you'll be working your core muscles and down into your legs and your stabilization muscles that you don't even think about um, you know so it's really really worth starting on the basics like I say the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, build up the technique properly and uh, you know make sure your posture is right, make sure you stretch out the muscles after you've uh, used them as well. Another one of my favourite exercises to do is a sled push. I absolutely love the sled push. Um, it's so simple, you just load up this little trolley thing and you push it. Um, you, can, you can do it quite lightweight and you can do it quite lightweight and fast as well as a bit of a sprint you can use that as a finisher to the end of your workout um, the amount of like, lactic acid and things like that build up in your legs when you do one of those is, is awesome like, you feel like you've like, really really work your legs uh, you can load the, load the sled up to some heavy sort of weights use it as um, more of a strength based exercise you know, it can be as effective as training uh, your legs as a squat would be without putting all that pressure on your lower back uh, as long as the weight's quite high um, really is a good good little thing to go on uh, I do enjoy it it's a love hate thing actually sometimes set myself a challenge of maybe pushing the sledge for half an hour uh, backwards and forwards up and down and, you know mentally it's quite a challenge you know physically as well you know, moving uh, back into the weight room you've got plate loaded machines um, I'm just doing some the chest machine here I'm doing drop sets I'm going for a hundred reps uh, each time to full fatigue and then I get off the machine, drop the weight and go again until I get to 100 reps. I obviously started quite heavy so within a couple of reps I'm soon dropping the weights. Um, these hammer strength machines we've got down at the ball gym are awesome, they're so smooth, the weights are really good, they're really comfy, they're good to use. The, the good thing about the plate loading machines is they're quite safe if you're using them on your own as well, um, you're not going to drop any big weights on yourself on most of the machines. Um, you know, so that they are they are good to train on. You can train to absolute failure on them as well. Um, unlike say a barbell or something that might fall on you if you've not got anyone spotting you. So just just be safe if you are doing free weights. But um, there's definitely a place for these plate loading machines, especially if you incorporate a couple of supersets together with them. 
different machines at the same time. Obviously there's hundreds of body weight movements that you don't need any equipment for. Um, you know, calisthenics is what it's called. It, it is part of my training, what I, I do. But you know, adding some weights to these kind of movements as well, as you progress into them, can really build your strength up. Um, you know, weighted chin-ups have definitely built my grip strength up, which has helped for my climbing. And the climbing has helped my grip strength as well even more, which has helped my deadlift. So it all helps each other. Um, here's a little time lapse here of me doing that drop set, just to show you that I didn't just not do it for the video. Um, and, you know, it's just a time lapse is good as well because you can prove to everyone else that you did it, or you can look back that you actually smashed that workout you intended on, and. It's just a good thing, really. I mean, even if you're not going to post it anywhere, you know in your head you're filming that video, so it makes you push through the session and get it done. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to doing another one with a different element of my training. Like I say, the gym-based training, resistance training with weights, um, you know, muscular strength and endurance sort of training is just one part of my kind of regime on a weekly basis.